video. Welcome back to the channel, man. And today I am going to install some gauges into my Camaro, man. Just one gauge. And today I am going to install my wide band gauge. So that's what I have here. This is the part number if you guys are interested. 30-0334. Uh, and I'm already working on it uh, right now, actually. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I should just do a video on it because I was struggling a little bit when I was looking at other people's content. And so now since I'm working with it, I figure I'll just um, do my own version of it So while I'm working on it. So this is where I'm at so far. Uh, so far, uh, I have all the wires already mounted to the car. I got it hooked up to the OBD tooth right here. Um, I got the wideband hooked up. And then I got this second part so I can go ahead and... Uh, connect this to the back here but i need to do my power and ground with this cable already right here so this right here this step i feel like it's pretty simple so as i walk through the front to like give you guys like a quick rundown um here back here if you had a sound to delete if you don't have a if you do have a sound tube you will have to remove the sound tube and do a sound tube delete on your intake um that's pretty simple not gonna show you guys how to do that, especially if you already have this set up here. Because you know back here, you already have, I don't know, can you see it back there? Let me see if I can get a light back there. Uh, so, back here, um, that is where your sound tube uh, delete cover is. So right there, I drilled a hole into there. Um, and that's how I was able to get this wire here. And then I'm working on my ground over there. So that wire is pretty simple. The first wire, they give you an extension. And down here, if I pull on it, as y'all can see right here, this wire here, that is connected below to my OD, uh, my O2 sensor that's down there. So that's what I have right there. And then that's pretty much it. Just jack the car up, make sure you have an O2 bung installed underneath there tighten that and you're good to go now here this is where it has not been explained to me pretty well so this right here i was looking for this red wire if you guys is interested on like what type of wire that you use this is a 16 gauge wire that you can get from o'reilly or any AutoZone or walmart or whatever online this part right here this part right here is like a I want to say like it's like a I add on to a fuse where here I'm going to like add this into my fuse box. That way I can like uh, have my gauge running and turn on every time the car turns on and it turns off when the car turns off. So this is like a tap in into like a fuse. So this is like a dummy fuse and I'm going to put like fuses here like a five amp fuse so it can plug in here and work properly. So this is what I'm going to do for like a clean install because this is the wires here. Um, for this part here, I am going to take this ground, which is this black one here. And this black one is going to most likely, I'm going to ground it to this intake manifold bolt. Or I may do it to this one here. But nine times out of ten, I'm probably going to do it to this intake manifold bolt and be done with it. And, um, and then after that, I'm going to take this red one, cut this red gauge here. And then that's going to give me enough where I can route it similar to like my E85 line here. That's what I'm pretty much going to follow. And then I'm going to have it just sit underneath there. And then my gauge should be working. So I want to start on that. And then, yeah. But that's some things I want to clarify during my install of the AE wideband. AEM air to fuel ratio wideband. I have this uh, connector here. So this connector went on this side and of course the custom one that I added here go right here. And this right here is um, a O-ring which you can get from the auto parts store too. I'm gonna use this to uh, apply this here. And then this is what I'm going to attach here to this um, intake manifold bolt. I may move it to be honest and put it on a different bolt. 
I don't know where yet. Maybe I'll like scratch off some paint here or like remove that and put it back there or something. But this is pretty much like all the stuff that you need. It comes in the kit too. So this kit is like has everything that you need. I say you need some zip ties to tie it up, make everything look good. But that's pretty much it, man. Like this stuff here, I wish people would have brought it up. Um, this O-ring terminal, this 16 gauge, this would have helped out a lot instead of like guessing to figure out what matches. And that's pretty much it. So I'm about to finish the process. And then I don't have like a pot, but I'm gonna just figure out where I'm gonna customize and set it up in the car. So we'll get to that point later. Okay, y'all. So this is the like the very next day after I done finished the process. Overall, it didn't take um that long really. It took me about like an hour and a half, uh really. But I just wanted to make sure it was uh all looking good and stuff. So this is the setup now. You know, most people had their stuff sitting up here or right here. This is how I got it set up. So when I sit in the car, it sits right there so I can see it all the time. It doesn't move or anything. It's like planted there because I got it right here. And then like, as you can see, there's no really like major wires underneath there. I just got to finish zip tying that one right there, which I really didn't do, but I got it coming through here. So then it could just sit at the, uh, obd2 spot so not bad at all and then i'm gonna just show you guys like how I, how i wired it in the big uh underneath the hood too so if we go and check that out um i ended up grounding it to the block based on where it was so this is the wire that i was telling you guys about that came with it this is the extension and on the block that is where, I don't know, can you guys see it right there? But right there, that's where I put my ground. And then this is the wire that y'all seen earlier where I got to wrap through and it comes through the box. Um, and here, you got to cut that down a little bit because it won't close. So I just snipped a little bit of plastic off and then it just sits there um, like that now. So that's the whole setup of the A air to fuel ratio wide band i'm glad i got that now because that unlocks me to get my car tuned or when i have hp tuners installed in the car like i can look at stuff i want to do whenever i want to do it and back there like i told y'all that's that i zip tied it right here so as y'all can see in the daytime here like uh let me zoom in that right there is the extension hanging if i move that wire y'all can see that like right there it's probably blurred out but it's hanging right there coming off the o2 so it looks factory you can't even tell i have it done there besides that red wire but i'm gonna just leave that red wire there man all right so let me give you guys like that start so y'all can see it working <laughs> I sit here in the car and I can play with it. Uh, like if I want to put it like on Lambda, done, it's easy. Whatever I want to look at, I can just do it right there. All set to go. All right, y'all. So that's pretty much going to wrap this video up, man. That is how you install um, the AFR, the air to fuel ratio wide band. Just quick and simple, straight to the point, man. I feel like I shouldn't drag this video on, but... Uh, anymore because it's very straightforward man so if i can do it i know you can do it man so if you guys like cars like these content like this y'all already know who to follow follow the moc that's myself q the chaotic race car friends and the hunting gang nate and like that i'll see you guys in the next video